Margot Parker, UKIP MEP for the East uh, Midlands. Um, the Prime Minister David Cameron has sent uh, his famous letter today to uh, European Council President Donald Tusk, um, citing out his demands. Do you welcome his proposals? Well, what can you welcome? Uh, you know, he's asked for a few crumbs from the table and he's, uh, he's making no serious demands. He's climbed down all the time. So, you know, what is he asking for? What will he get? Nothing. And the British voter will not be fooled again. This Prime Minister is, is he's, he's asking for nothing. And you know what? He's getting nothing. And what he might get are a few cosmetic changes that will make no serious difference whatsoever. I think it's fair to say, though, that UKIP would obviously like him to ask, to demand, to insist upon a, a complete withdrawal from the EU. If that were to take place, what was the alternative that you feel should be on the table? Um, I'm understanding that UKIP doesn't agree with the, uh, the kind of agreement being put in place like uh, Norway has with the EU or Switzerland. What exactly would you replace it with, Margot? Well, I mean, the replacement means that we need to bring our laws back to Westminster. You know, it's unacceptable for British laws not to be made in Westminster. So we want to bring that democracy back to the British voter. You know, they must be responsible. You know, you elect a government, they're responsible for rules, laws and regulation. We don't want those rules and laws made in, in, in UK. I mean, Are you not concerned, however, that the US, New Zealand, even Norway, have indicated that they would prefer the UK to remain in the EU? Is this not a cause for concern? No, not really. I mean, why on earth would we take uh, would we take orders from the United States? Do they have a special arrangement with Mexico? Do they say, you know, we're going to have open borders, you guys can come piling on it? Of course they don't. We'll take no lessons from the United States.